Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Well, he makes his living working to protect and preserve creatures that protect us from pests. It's time for this week's Steam Profile, and our focus today is science as we meet a reptile biologist. Here's KCAL 9 meteorologist Amber Lee. A skink named Sweetums. So cute. A pair of wide-eyed newts, both part of the world-class collection at LA's Natural History Museum. Every day is better for me if I get to see a lizard. Meet Dr. Greg Pauly. I'm the curator of herpetology. Come here, sweetie. Herpetology is the study of reptiles and amphibians. So that includes salamanders, frogs, lizards, turtles, snakes. Dr. Pauly says even the reptiles we fear the most do a lot of good. They eat lots of things that we consider pests. Lots of people have fears of snakes, but if you actually think about what most snakes are doing is they're cruising around and they're eating mice or rats. And lizards? They eat snails, slugs, crickets, even brown and black widow spiders. Um, they're happy to eat those. In the museum's nature lab, guests are encouraged to visit with live reptiles of all species and learn all about their habitats. What the public doesn't get to see is this. The skull of an American alligator. The museum's world-class herpetology library. Dr. Polly, this is a huge collection. Yeah, we have just over 195,000 specimens in this room. Of all the STEAM disciplines, herpetologists rely most on science. A lot of my time is spent thinking about how do we make sure the specimens are available and useful to researchers decades from now and even centuries from now. With every turn of the wheel, shelves and shelves of creatures are revealed. This is the largest species of salamander in the world. Reptiles too big for a jar are held in cold storage. This is a preserved Komodo dragon. Even with almost 200,000 samples, Dr. Polly says there's still so much more to be discovered. There's an unknown number of tens of millions of species on Earth. And for the vast majority of them, we know next to nothing about their ecology and their natural history. One way scientists are making new discoveries, by recruiting volunteers to upload photos of creatures they find in their yard. That's how these geckos were first discovered in the San Fernando Valley. Yeah, I was a nine-year-old boy living at Chatsworth at the time. The big focus of the research that we do is thinking about impacts of urbanization. And whether you're a young citizen scientist with a camera or a professional with a title, the absolute best part about being a scientist is making discoveries. Well, if you see a lizard, snake, or frog in your neighborhood, you can join Dr. Pauly's team of citizen scientists by uploading a photo for review by professional herpetologists. We have a link with instructions and more on STEAM careers at kcal9.com slash STEAM. And I have to say, there is not a Zoom lens strong enough for me. 